Hey guys, welcome to Four Kids in a Farm. We just dropped off our cows to pregnancy camp. We didn't really know exactly how we were gonna do this. We were really worried in the beginning of owning cows of how do we make calves without having a bull. We don't have any bulls on our property. So first, we had to find our cows a boyfriend. And second, we had to find out how we were going to get those cows pregnant. Do you guys want to meet our cow's new boyfriend? <laughs> Here he is. Oh, his name's Danny. Oh, he's this one. Go. Here we go. Let's see. Let's look at the, the profile. Oh, hello, buddy. <clears throat> so he's pulled, so no horns. A2A2, it's the easier digestible milk. Um, and he is extremely docile. Docile? Docile. We like that. So um, these are some of the babies that he's been throwing. They're adorbs. Look at those little calves. And this is what we get to look forward to. <laughs> Can't argue with that, even though the price yeah. is pricey. Very cute. How much are they? Yeah, uh, too much. <laughs> a lot. Now we've got to figure out how to do the AI, which we have <clears throat> our local vet that has like a program that we basically drop them off. So we need to go check that out. So after we found Patty and Leah's boyfriend, then we had to find out how we're gonna stage the whole thing. And luckily we have a really, really fantastic vet nearby that will take them and make sure they're pregnant and confirm they're pregnant and give them all their vaccines and all that stuff. And this is that place. So now that we had a husband, and now that we had a date place, we had to get the cows all in the trailer and get them together so that we can have cute baby Dexters <laughs> in the future. It's the day before Patty and Leah go to the vet to get AI'd with, the, uh, with, <laughs> with our bowl. The idea here is we let, let's see, do a quick tour. This is Cece's pen over there. That's where we separate before we milk. This really is Patty's area, right? As we keep going around, chicken coop. Sorry if this is making you dizzy. And then this is where they all started. This is where we release them. And this is uh, Leah and Valentino. Valentino is going to be our beef cow. So the idea right now is to move these gals into that pen so that we can load them up over here. Okay, you got that? <laughs> the really great thing about this setup is that they get to go as a pair to the vet. So Cece can suck out any milk that's available. Basically, Cece's gonna be milking Patty for the next month or so while Patty is getting pregnant. So when they come back to the farm, we can continue milking for the next few months. So this is all new to us. Um, we're taking a step at a time. Right now we're trying to work these cows in with each other. They're gonna get to know each other again, and then we're going to ship them off tomorrow if we can get them in the trailer without any hassles. Four cows going to our AI vet, so two of them can get pregnant. And then hopefully we'll have six cows. And then we'll lose one next year because one will go in the freezer. So cow math is a little bit complicated. Okay, I'm just putting gentle pressure on the cows. Cece's got the idea. Patty likes the idea. I'm just letting them get in there by themselves. That's the best way is to let it be their idea. It's kind of like being married. Okay. Cool. All right, we did it. I'm gonna close this up and the real adventure is gonna to be tomorrow getting them all in that trailer. So I guess see ya in the next 
segment. So bonus, while all the cows are gone, our pastures are gonna get less uh, impact on them. So right now is our wet season. Um, I mean, you can see there's plenty of grass, there's plenty of mud too in some spaces. So we're gonna use this as a rotational area for the sheep. Um, so once the cows get back, they can kind of go at this uh, as well. But while the cows are off the land, it's gonna grow a little bit more and we can use it a little bit better for rotational grazing. So it's really good. We really like this situation. Oh, CC and Tino are doing a little, hey. dominance thing right now, which I'm gonna kick Tino. Tino, get out of here. I mean, it's probably something I should let them do. They're gonna do it anyway. But I don't want them busting down fences. Then our neighbor's Zebu bull, he's always wanting a little piece of action with Patty and Leah. So he'll do this, he'll walk up and down the fence, the neighbor's fence line. So, all right, I am gonna check the electric fence real quick here, and then I'm going to turn it on. Okay, this next day, um, I didn't feed the cows. I, I want them to be hungry enough to go where I need them to go. So that's the strategy, that's the plan. I'm going to get the trailer, we'll come back here and see if this all works out. Okay, here's the situation. <laughs> got the trailer, got three cows in this pen. Cece is over there. I don't know how that happened except yesterday Valentino, which is our beef cow, was pretty rough treating CC, uh, you know, their button heads and doing some dominant stuff. There is a little hole or where the, the fence is bent down right over here that she could have just popped over it. So we definitely have some work to do on this fencing right here. Um, <laughs> So just made it this a little bit more complicated, but the good thing is the CC is halter trained and should be a lot easier to move around than these knuckleheads. We don't want Tino in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if he goes too, that's fine. But uh, all right, so we got a open route to the trailer. The problem is there was like some a grain bucket in there that got some rainwater in it. It smells like vomit. <laughs> so we're not really sure that they're gonna be eager to go in there. I mean, the idea is if, if one goes, they all go. They all haven't eaten. So we're hoping that we can, I'm gonna just come around them and give them a little pressure back here. Oh. We just have to be patient. I did send Alora to go get some sweet feed, so they're always interested in that. Um, okay, Alora's got the bucket. You want to try to sprinkle some of that grain on that hay in there? I mean, they're standing there, they're hungry. We just got to get them to pop up there. Okay, we got them pinned in here. This is, uh, that's a feat in itself. We kinda 
they kind of gently went in after the hay and we have them cornered. So really there's only one place for them to go in theory. Um, and we want them to go in there. Thinking out loud, if we get these three in, I can always come and get Cece later and bring her back. We could take two trips, it's not that far away. It's all about what's easiest right now. Okay, so sorry, there's little pauses in this. Uh, it's kind of hard to film and almost get horned at the same time, but we got all three of them in and I just need another hand <laughs> to come grab this gate so we can drop these cows off. Rachel got poop on. Uh, I, I think I'm gonna come back for CC. I think that's the best strategy. Well, we know this is not a professional setup, but it worked fine. Yay for four kids on a farm. We're we're all alive. Yeah, that's fine. Not lucky for you, Dad. That was the second one. For that. Okay, so I'm gonna go drop these ones off. Do you want to get CC in here ready to go? No. Yeah. Not yet. Poop. Nope. Poop happening. <laughs> Ew! I didn't lick it, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> See you in a little bit. <laughs> so I'm sorry, I'm so bad at getting this all on video. So I dropped off the three and I'll show you. You can see how small our Dexters are compared to like the big cattle, right? I mean, these are normal sized cows. And then we got our three Dexters. CC, uh, I'll go pick her up right now and bring her back. And then we'll have all four here and we'll turn four cows into six cows pretty soon. Pretty, pretty awesome. Rachel said, just stay there. I'll walk her in. <laughs> oh. Come on, Cece. Wow, oh, that's the gross grain. The vomit grain, yeah. Okay, get up. Get up. Come on. Yeah. Get up this one. You want to stay in there for the ride? Can I stay in there? Dad, I'll do it. Dad, can I be in there? No, you can't. <laughs> That's okay. against the law. Wait, what? <laughs> we did it. It's a lot less crowded than the first trip. CC. Just to be clear, Cece is not getting pregnant. She's way too young. She is going to hopefully, um, she's going with Patty to hopefully preserve any milk that we would get. I don't know, at this point, we're kind of willing to just give it up. Uh, but, you know, th that was the original plan. She's also going because they're able to give her all her vaccinations and uh, it just is, going to be easier for us to have them all there at one time instead of like splitting up the herd. There we go. <laughs> okay, so it went well. We got all the cows here. We're told that it's going to be at least 32 days to confirm that they're pregnant. So we just had a conversation with our vet and all the staff here, and they're going to be in contact with us. We're hoping that it only takes 32 days because every day they're here, 
is costing us a little bit of money. So it was easier for us to drop them off here because they have all the infrastructure here to vaccinate and impregnate and all that stuff. Um, so really, we're really thankful for having this right near us to be able to have this as an option for our little small farm. So now we just wait patiently and there's going to be a reveal next <laughs> September sometime. We're not even sure if we could find out exactly what they are before, but that's part of the surprise. The anticipation is fantastic and we just can't wait to have more calves on our property. And pretty soon we're going to have like this big old huge herd of Dexter cattle. <laughs> 20, 20 cows on our cute five little, acres. Cute little cows. <laughs> We're gonna have to get rid of everything because we'll be a cow farm. Yeah, or we'll get more land. Yeah. We could do that too. We'll see. We'll see. Stay tuned. Thanks for hanging out with us. This is a new experience for us. We hope you enjoyed it. So smash that like button. Subscribe to our channel if you are not. If you are, thank you very much. Moo. <laughs> Moo. Yeah, well, Moo. Moo. That's what everybody's saying here. Oh my gosh. And make sure you click that notification bell so you know every time Four Kids in a Farm <laughs> comes out with a new video. <laughs> a Moo video. <laughs> <I'm> freaking <laughs> See you guys.